I grew up going to church every Sunday and Wednesdays and Sunday nights and any other time that, that there were things going on up at the church building, we were there. We read Bible stories all growing up. We, we prayed. We talked, about, we talked about Christ. We had family devotions. I, I, I grew up in a home that where both parents really discipled us and, and trained us up to, to, know, to know Christ and know who he was and who he is. And, um, there was a time, a Sunday morning, it was March of 1989, and I was four years old. I was very young, but I'd been hearing about Jesus all, my whole life up to this point. And it was a special day in my family. It was a Sunday morning, and my older sister, Sarah, who was eight years old at the time, was going to be baptized at church that morning and we'd been talking about it and, and what that meant but I didn't I didn't quite understand everything and that Sunday morning it was busy as most Sunday mornings are in a household with three young children at the time and I wanted to talk my, to my dad but I knew that wasn't a good time we were getting ready to leave and so I got out some paper and, and a pencil and, and I wrote him a little note and the note said something to the effect of, Dad, will you talk to me about asking Jesus into my heart? And I went into my parents' bedroom and I left it on his pillow. Well, we, we went to church that Sunday morning and I saw my sister be baptized and I heard her testimony about how Christ had saved her and I knew that was something I was very interested in. So we got home from church and my dad found the note on his pillow and and he, he pulled me aside and said, yes, I would love to talk to you about asking Jesus into your heart. And so he explained to me what that meant. He explained to me that I was a sinner and in need of a Savior. He explained to me that the only one who could pay the penalty for my sins was Christ, and that if I accepted his free gift of salvation, he would surely save me, um, that he would make me his child, and that he would give me everlasting life. I'm sure there was more that he explained to me that day. Um, I'm not sure I understood understood much more than that, but I did understand those things, and I knew that I knew that that's something that I wanted. So after after he explained to me and, and made sure that I understood, he led me in, in a simple prayer of salvation. I don't remember the exact words that they that I said that that morning, and I, I don't think he does either. But but I do know that I was saved that morning. That I called on Jesus, and that he and that he saved me. Because I was saved at at such a young age, um, at the age of four, I know that God truly does value children. I know that he he can and does save children, even in the preschool years um, and the early elementary years, and, and because of that, it, it changes the way that I view parenting. Um, it changes the way that, that I parent my, my two daughters, uh, who are two and nine months, and it also changes the way that I see children's ministry. It's, it's, not, just, it's not just a place we drop our kids off so that we can go and, and study God's Word for ourselves. It, it's a it's a place where they can they can grow and they can learn about who God is and and hopefully along with their their parents um, they can come to understand who Christ is and what He's done for them at a very young age. I want I want my daughters to be saved at a very young age, and I know that's the prayer of many of you. Um, it's my prayer that all of our children in our church would be saved at a young age because we teach them who Christ is and what he's done on the cross for them and how he how he can save children can understand that they they may not understand they may not understand everything there is to know I certainly still don't understand everything there is to know but they can they can understand that they are sinners in need of a savior they can understand that Christ is the only one who can pay the penalty for their sin they can understand that by accepting God's free gift of salvation, they can be made children of God and have everlasting life. And those are the things that I'm trying to instill in, in my own children as we, as we read scripture to them, as we teach them the truths of God's word, as we sing scripture around the house, as we talk about God as we're going and coming. I pray that they will come to, come to know Christ at a young age as well. 
My name is Patty, and this is my salvation story.